Although the exact numbers are classified, according to various estimates, there are now between 15,000 and 19,000 nuclear warheads on Earth. Most of this arsenal is distributed roughly equally between the United States and Russia, with the remaining warheads distributed among the other nuclear powers – Britain, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. What would happen if all the nuclear weapons exploded? We are about to find out. Stage 1 – Detonation First hour – All nuclear warheads detonate almost simultaneously around the world. The first explosions instantly vaporize everything in the immediate vicinity of the epicenters, causing the immediate deaths of millions of people living in major urban centers and near military installations. During the explosion of nuclear weapons, the explosions of many nuclear power plants are added to the explosion, detonating and exacerbating the situation. Explosions are heard all over the world, in every corner of the planet. Buildings and infrastructure are being destroyed. A large number of people will be fatally injured due to overpressure, flying debris and collapsing structures. Nuclear explosions send electromagnetic pulses across the planet that will leave humanity without electricity, internet and communication systems, damaging power grids and microchips in computers. All of this makes it even more difficult to respond to emergencies and causes accidents such as airplanes falling out of the sky, train crashes, and disasters at large industrial facilities. This results in additional casualties. Fires break out almost everywhere, with no one to put them out. Forests and cities catch fire. In some places, nuclear explosions lead to nuclear storms. Casualties. About 100 million people. Stage 2. Day 1. Primary radiation contamination. A huge amount of radioactive pollution is released into the atmosphere. Smoke from fires magnifies this effect. Across the planet, radioactive clouds have covered the sky, and only a few will be lucky enough to see sunlight in the future. Radiation spreads further from the sites of the original explosion, contaminating water and food supplies. Populations trying to flee the affected areas congest the roads, causing gridlock and further chaos. Emergency services are overwhelmed or out of service. During this time, many people die from initial exposure to high doses of radiation, while others suffer from symptoms of radiation sickness. Instead of being treated in hospitals, people face panic that spreads around the world. Communications networks have been destroyed. Governments in many countries have been overthrown. Armed insurgencies have taken place, and there is a scramble for what resources remain. All of this makes coordinated rescue or evacuation efforts difficult. Casualties continue to rise due to injuries and the onset of radiation sickness. Cumulative casualties, 150 million people, stage three. First month, widespread radioactive contamination. Radioactive fallout covers the entire planet and destroys freshwater reservoirs, contaminating food supplies and animals. There will be no place on the planet to hide from the radiation. Radiation sickness leads to progressive irreversible changes in all organs and body systems. A person loses immunity, and it is enough to catch even a mild virus to die. Societies are struggling to cope with the scale of the catastrophe. But civil unrest, violence, and deaths from starvation and disease are breaking out everywhere. Casualties could potentially exceed a billion. Atomic winter the first years. Mass extinction. For many months, the atomic winter, an ice age, reigns. It is this phenomenon that poses the greatest threat to mankind. After all, there has been a nearly 100% reduction in sunlight reaching the Earth's surface within a few years. This means that the planet will be covered in darkness. The amount of light reaching the planet's surface will then begin to increase, but very slowly over the next few decades or even centuries. Suffice it to say that the lack of light will stop photosynthesis. Only the hardy plants survive, leading to a collapse in natural chains. There is a mass extinction of plants, animals, reduction of their species. Humans will also be threatened. Poor harvests and collapse of food distribution lead to mass starvation. Casualties and casualties continue to rise dramatically. 
and temperatures plummet. The few plants and animals that were able to adapt to the darkness begin to die because of the cold. The bulk of humanity is wiped out, leaving only a small handful of survivors. In time, having mutated many times, a new species of human appears. It will be completely different people, with a different composition of blood, hormones, and perhaps even organs. The few survivors will have to struggle to survive in an irradiated world. It is difficult to estimate the number of people affected. Various estimates range from four to six billion people. <laughs>